Tax season begins tomorrow and returns may look a little different this year, especially if you have kids. KSN's Mally Jones spoke with a local accountant on why that is. Mally? Alexis, she tells me this year we are getting back to how things were before the pandemic. COVID added some extra things such as stimulus checks and advanced child tax credit that we will not see this year. For example, this year child tax credit is back to $2,000 per qualifying child rather than the $3,000 or $3,600. That means things might be a little easier on both sides of the desk because there are fewer things to keep track of this year. On the flip side, your return might be less than last year. If folks are sitting with their tax pro and they're not seeing the result that they're expecting because of the prior year, uh, they want to look at those things and it's not necessarily anything that they have done. Uh, it's just that if you compared it to three years ago, it would be more similar. Tonight at 10, see what an economic expert predicts will happen this year with tax returns and how that will impact the economy. Here for you, Mally Jones, KSN News 3. Thank you, Mally. Again, tomorrow is the first day the IRS will accept and start processing returns. April 18th is the deadline to file or request an extension. If you don't do get an extension, you must file by October 16th.